Hello and welcome back to the Hunter Classic. Uh, this is just an informational page, but I did want to show you my last hunt for these pheasants. It was a mission and I got 800 gems for it, but all I had to do was shoot five uh, pheasants, airborne um, pheasants, with any shotgun. And I attempted it. Here's my shots 32 times. 32. That's a box and a half of shells. And confirmed kills was six. So I am no good at hunting birds. Um, didn't shoot anything else. <laughs> didn't shoot anything else. Uh, some collectibles, uh, antler collectible. But here's the uh, pheasants. This one I shot twice uh, in the video. Uh, I uploaded a video on this. No, I didn't. No, I apologize. I did not upload the video on this. Um, I had trouble with the uh, video. Uh, so, um, two shots. The last one was at 50 meters. Uh, the kill shot was at 50. Everything else, I think, was 1-1-1. One, one, one. Uh, the female scored low, but she did give me a GM. It was four GMs, so they're not worth anything. And the rest of them were anywhere from 22 to you know 31 um, GMs. But also, I have down here, oh, well, we could go through uh, lifetime statistics, but you know, you can see this. Um, uh, weapon to 300 is kind of what I went with. Uh, I do like the 30 out 6 as well. No scope for it, though. Uh, the 270 I'm fond of recently, but you know, you're just shooting smaller deer and doll sheep. Anything smaller than doll sheep, uh, 270 won't shoot it. Uh, the bow, Parker Python, uh, uh, the snake bite, the Parker Python. Uh, this is my son's bow. He shot a lot with it. I was using the snake bite quite a bit. And I'm kind of getting back into using these little 223s. The 243, I understand, is free ammo. Uh, I think free ammo on the 243, free ammo with shotguns. So you've got. Uh, bird shot, buck shot, and slug, and with this weapon, I'm three for three on that one. Slug, you know, you're going to pretty much get a kill, um, except for this one. I don't know what I was shooting at there. Um, yeah, let's uh, take a look at this. This is my cheat sheet. I have this in front of me whenever I play the hunter, and starting you know with water buffalo or you can start at the bottom with the ducks and, and pheasants and hares and ptarmigan of course arrows uh, any bow you, you can kill any animal with with a bow so arrows are are a constant they're they're it's a really good versatile weapon the bow um the powder gun the black powder gun the 50 ball that's the only one i have i don't have the other one that shoots the what, conicals or something like that 4570, of course, is for your bigger gray animals, uh, water buffalo, bison, bantang, polar bear, uh, moose, grizzly, uh, even black bear. There are some uh, deer, red deer, uh, sandbar deer, you can shoot with the 4570. But anything less than a reindeer, like the normal deer, Sitka, Ibex, bighorn sheep, kangaroo, you can't use the 4570 on. So the 340, that's is that the 340 Weatherby? I'm not, I'm, I'm not sure. I never got into that weapon. Um, this is kind of what animals you can shoot with it. The 300, very versatile. You can't shoot the water buffalo with the 300, but I usually take a crossbow or something like that. Um, but now that I have the 4570, you can also shoot them with the 454. So the 454 is a very versatile uh, pistol, all the way down to feral hog, uh, boar, anything smaller than reindeer, you're just tearing up the meat. Um, I don't have a lot of these weapons. Uh, I put them in there because I was kind of interested in them, uh, like the 9.3, um, the 7 millimeter, uh, this one, very versatile. It's about the same as the 300. Uh, the 308, uh, again, goes up to here. I don't think with the 308 you can shoot bison and bantang. So, here the 308 versus the 300 so I'm not I'm not sure now I have not, this has been a long time since I've updated this and, and really got into the weapons they've got so many more weapons out now 
but you know smaller things like Red Fox, uh, the Eurasian Lynx, which I think scores high on the uh, on the GMs now. Uh, of course, with a bow, then with black powder guns, the 243, the 223, a 357 pistol. But I'm never that close, so I usually go with 243. I'm kind of getting into the 223s now. And then, of course, you can shoot them with buckshot. Um, let's see, slugs. Uh, all the shotguns, starting with doll sheep, doll sheep, and up slug, slug, all the way up to polar bear. But bison, van tank, water buffalo, you know, shotguns aren't going to do it. Slug, slug isn't going to do it. But this is my uh, cheat sheet. This is some of the weapons that I have. Uh, the 22s. Um, Arctic Fox, surprisingly, you know, you can't shoot with that, but uh, but you can shoot Red Fox, Bobcat, Eurasian Lynx. Now this may be a typo. Uh, do do check before you, <laughs> you break any rules. But here's some pistols and um, uh, just things that I have. 270 I like, but it's mainly for deer. 30-30, uh, 30-06. 30 out 6 is pretty versatile. You shoot a lot of animals with 30 out 6, but the bigger animals you can. Uh, so, anyway, uh, that is this uh, episode. Just a quick episode to show you kind of how I how I play it. I have a lot of cheat sheets that I, that I use and uh, uh, just kind of going after the animals that uh, you know that I want to go after. Anyway, I hope you like the video. Give me a like, comment. Okay, I just wanted to add this bit of information here, another cheat sheet that I keep. Uh, my highest, these are my personal best, my scores, and the weight of the animal so that I can gauge whether or not, you know, if I'm tracking a small bison uh, or a large bison. So it's really good, maybe if you can, keep a cheat sheet, if you know, if you get into playing this way. Um, uh, you know, what, what weight that you're tracking is that going to be a big enough animal these are my personal bests uh water buffalo bantang bison uh i just scored really high on a feral hog so i've changed that when i created this new one um for weight there's two scores you can get one with tusk and then one with weight so uh, i keep track of that as well uh, i haven't really got a big wild boar yet for that um all the way down to mule deer Okay, we'll scroll down to mule deer up at the top now. Uh, some of these weights are approximate, I believe. This is not totally accurate, but uh, you know, if I if I was um, uh, shooting a, a white tail deer, non-typical, 82 kilograms, I may have left the 82 and just increased the two, you know, from 260 to 274 and just left the 82. So that is some weights that I go by. Um, if I'm tracking a big animal, of course, you could be tracking a 99 uh, kilogram big horn sheep and it only scored 140. So, you know, it just depends uh, on the curl on, on that one. Kangaroo, I haven't really got into any kangaroo. I don't know how big they are. Um, haven't shot a lot of them. Of course, Eurasian lynx, uh, I have no idea. Uh, you can go on just before you go into your hunt, you could check the leaderboards and see what they're putting out. But, I don't know if it tells you the weight, so I usually kind of go by the weight if this is a big animal or not. Um, we'll scroll on down to the uh, willow ptarmigan. Uh, I don't have weights for them. More than likely, they're point nines or something. You know, they're they are small. So uh, this was just a little cheat sheet that I keep of scores and weights, uh, so that uh, you know I know if I'm tracking a big animal. Anyway, I hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching.